welcome back to PDI Pick'em. Peterson, we tied last week. This is where I put you behind the pack and run away with this thing. Are you ready for week two toss up? Let's do this. Okay, the first matchup we have this week is the Pats hosting the Jets. The Pats pounded the rock in their week one thrashing of Denver. Marshall Falk carried the ball 31 times, that ranks him third all-time for a single game in CDL history. He will not get that many carries again as the Jets' D will not bend as much. Steve Young will have to be more of a factor for the Patriots to win here. Somehow New England gets the job done, Pats 28-2-21, I'm going to agree with you there. Stevie Y will have to get it going this game. I will go 21-2-14 Pats, Denver hosting Detroit. Jay Shaw is back and wants to stick it to his old team. Denver will cruise in this one, calling nothing but pass. I see Martin Hanks doing his chicken dance as he snags one of Lion QB Troy Aikman's passes in the fourth quarter to seal the win for the Broncos. Broncos 24-2-14, I'm going Denver as well in this game after that 37-2-0 beating by the Pats, I see the Broncos winning at 28-2-14, Steelers and Jags next. In a disappointing Week 1 loss to Cleveland, Pittsburgh failed to get a consistent rushing attack moving. Only tallying 55 net yards on the ground, it forced Pittsburgh who rotated quarterbacks in, and out to a dismal passing performance 6 of 17 both QBS combined 4 with 2 picks. The Jags D-backs may prove to be a daunting task, but I believe Vinny is up for the task. Pittsburgh waves the terrible towel, 31-2-10, no doubt that loss was a tough one. This week I'm taking the Steelers huge. It is going to be like eating string cheese, he is just going to pick the Jags apart. I will say 35-2-3 here, the Browns are going to Washington. Bring your toilet paper, this is going to get nasty. I see the Browns spreading it all over the place. The Browns 28-2-10, I'm going to take the Browns in this one. Both squads escaped with a divisional victory in week one. Todd Edmer has a field day versus the poor Redskin defensive unit. Detmer throws four, three TDs, and over 200 yards in a Browns win, 21-2-14. Dallas is going to Cincinnati this week. Dallas should take care of business here. Kareem does work here again 28-2-14. I'm taking Dallas in this matchup. Dallas has not played their week one game as of yet, so it is hard to see how the Joey Gatsero will take off. Odds are he plays this game before his first matchup. Since he barely missed a week one win, a game that cost me in the standings by the way. Washington just outlasted the Bengals in that game. Cowboy corner Donald Wolford gets a pick, and running back Kareem Abdul-Jabbar slam dunks a few scores in. Dallas wins 28-2-7. Next we have the Bucks hosting the G-Men. E for one week one's game of the week versus San Diego. Tampa has not played their week one matchup. Looking at the tail of the tape, Tampa Bay better get any points on the board when they can. The Giants were able to limit the high octane playing skills of lefty to only three field goals. Winning 14-2-9 propelled the Giants into the tier of legit contenders. Can Tampa keep pace? No, New York takes it 35-2-17, I got the Giants here. I see Tampa making some good shots down the field but it just won't be enough with the pressure of Seau down Everett's throw 28-2-14, San Diego comes into week 2 upset about their opening day loss to the Giants. Bad news for Atlanta fans as I see the scoreboard light up. Atlanta is just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Chargers roll 31-2-7, I will agree with you there, the Chargers are going to win this one big. Eddie George is not happy about last week's outcome. He will test Ray Lewis this game for sure. I got the Chargers 28-2-3, next we have the Oilers going to LA I cannot say it enough, Terrell Davis is a beast. It will be no different than last week. The Oilers in a row 28-2-3 taking the Oilers in this matchup. Terrell Davis had a lights-out game in the opening week of the season versus Seattle. Davis amassed 216 yards rushing on 13 carries. 
Can LA shut down the juggernaut Oiler offense? Can Drew Bledsoe continue his streaky performance that gave them a 21-2-7 victory over Atlanta in Week 1? On the field is where the questions will be answered. Houston wins 28-2-14, Chicago hosts the Miami Dolphins. Even though I was only in diapers, a lot of stuff has been made of the Dolphins keeping their claim as the only perfect team in NFL history. Which includes a whooping in 1985 of Chicago, when they made their run on Monday Night Football. The Dolphins were able to get the W in that game, even though Chicago was steamrolling their opponents two same type teams in the CDL, both could make runs, and possibly run the table and go undefeated. I do have to pick a winner, and I will take Miami. Waters has a huge game making up for his injury in Week 1. Waters nets 123 yards on the ground and finds Paydirt once. Miami wins 17-2-7, this should be a war. After seeing the Dolphins firsthand I'm going to go with them in this one. It will be close, as I see Ricky Waters healing up quick and taking the Finns to the win 24-2-13, on to the big finish Peterson. I will have you in the game of the week in only your second CDL game. You definitely will have a tough time. JL Stout likes to switch up defenders on defense and has an unorthodox style of offense. Carolina goes cross country and visits the Seattle Seahawks. Game time weather does not look pretty. Rain, rain, rain is in the Seattle forecast. This however does bode well for the Panthers. Carolina likes to grind it out on the ground and pummel their opposition into submission. The rain doesn't fit the ideal weather the Seahawks who like to air it out. Carolina DB John Lynch smacks T.O. in the mouth and takes the ball away. Allen has another nice game for the defending champions and Carolina wins this game 24-2-10, sweet, game of the week. I will have to show up here. I will run through the trenches and turn that rain into boiling water while I heat up the turf. I think it will be close, I'm going 17-2-10 me, alright yeah Joe bro knees. Keep on keeping on for Lightning Larry this is Peterson catch you guys next week.